too afraid to do than anything else just because of his sh how shy they were. he is and a lot of our family tend to be. Um, so it gives me a great outlet to educate people about my father's family and our culture um, in a way that I know through, through Western education. The one thing, and it's always funny, like I went home to my father's family, uh, it was five weeks ago now, um, and we sat through ceremony and just before ceremony was about to start, my grandfather's sister turned around and said, excuse me, he said, none of this disco did reduce shit anymore, you know, like this is, you know, so they really think this is a fun sort of novelty, you know, they say, you know, this is very disco, it's very, it's very modern, and when I go home, that I have to play traditional sort of style of playing did we do. So it is, you know, it is a great novelty, you know, for my family that they do have a family member who works in, in Sydney, who performs culture, who is, you know, fortunate enough to perform internationally as well, but then can sort of, you know, take off that whole persona and go home and sit on the country with my family. So they really support it. <laughs> Yes, what mate. determines which of the two instruments you use for which song? All right, it's the music. So when we play with chromatic mu uh, music, it's written on a chromatic scale. So to play didgeridoo with music, you must have a didgeridoo in the same key the music's been written in. So it sits in tune with the music. The longer and the wider you didgeridoo, generally the deeper the sound. The shorter and the thinner, the higher the pitch. Anything under about 85 centimetres, so under about that length and down, will not give you any sound at all really because the air goes out the bottom too fast not giving it enough time to vibrate on the inside. All right, anything else? Any other questions? I, I guess one more. Yep. The one I have is about that length and yep. I think my father said it's in F sharp. Yep. So if I was playing piano with it, I want to make sure I'm in F sharp, right? Yeah, in F sharp or one of its uh, harmonic, a key that you know that works in the harmonic, so either like sort of a quint. Oh, good. Right? Okay. Yeah, a quint or an or an octave like an eighth, eighth kind of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay. So I know when like when I do a lot of work with like symphony music and those sort of things, mm -hmm. it often works better if you play um, did we do in you know in one of the harmonic scales, so uh -huh. either, you know five scales up or eight scales up. So. Um, opposed to just in exactly the same key because it just gives a different dimension of the music, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Alright, the most important thing you must learn is cycle breathing. Here we learn to use our diaphragm, our stomach, to push air from our lungs to our throat and cheeks. Cheeks and tongue push air out. And nose takes air in and you do all that in one quick circular motion. What I want everyone in the room to do, fill your cheeks up there so you look like this. Now squeeze it out. Stop, everyone do this. Now do this. <laughs> Have a listen on the do. Cheeks and stomach, push air out. Nose, together. If you try and do this, <laughs> you can guarantee in about 30 seconds I will fall off my rock. <laughs> so, that breathing is the most important thing you must learn. It's what allows us to play for such extended periods of time. Generally, you know, in some orchestral work that I have done working, you're required to play for 20 minutes, which, you know, non-stop. And, you know, that's, that's quite easy in, compar in comparison to some of the traditional songs we sing when I go home. Some of our traditional songs can have over 800 verses and go for in excess of four hours without pausing. And so they are very, very, very intricate and long processes. Generally, those songs, songs are singing about the creation process of our life and our land and which ancestors visit us during that period of creation. All right. We'll kick in this last piece of music. You'll get some beautiful images from the central part of Australia, the heart of Australia, Uluru and Karadura. Iramana, Yangara Yara Mangara Nidanda, Gadada Yara, Dadiramara Yanga Yara, Wurima. In my grandfather's traditional language, the word Yiramana is a greeting, it means my name is. Yangara Yara Mangara Nidanda is my Aboriginal name on my family community. Four words. Yangara means descendant from the turtle family. Yiran is a personal identity. Bangarene is a skin name, a family name. It showed who we're related to. And Damja is the clan of the Gukwayalanji people my family come from. 
The next part, means come walk across this beautiful country with me and see with Wurima, our eyes and what they see.
and would be more than happy to answer any questions you have in regards to the Aboriginal culture or my family and playing the instrument. The door out to right will open so I can ask you all to exit out through the right hand door. It takes you into the gallery and you can make your way back to the front of the shop from there. Now I don't get paid for doing this show, I rely solely on donations.